And today we begin a two-day series called Today's Entrepreneurs. How many times have you dreamed of being your own boss, but you wondered if you really have what it takes? We'll meet two young sisters who are pouring their passion and personalities into their idea. 27-year-old Jody Snyder and her younger sister Danielle know that starting a business takes more than a dream. We're young, we have a vision, and we have passion, but that only gets you so far. It also takes a lot of hard work. Will you print out two copies of each of those? So we spend a day with the two creators of Danny Joe Jewelry, and you see there's nothing they don't do. <laughs> From sourcing raw materials. How many do we need total, Jody? To managing production. I love this one. To selling their line. But this one's, you know, a little bit less. I love this. So these are, how many hats do each of you wear? Too many, I would say. And they run their entire fledgling business out of a one-bedroom apartment they share. There's not a lot of uh, food <laughs> product in here whatsoever. <laughs> this is the pantry. But don't let their slight frames in tiny headquarters fool you. These girls mean business. If you really want to do something, you know, find a way to do it that no one else is doing it. How can I do this that's creative and will, you know, get some kind of buzz or attention? A lot of brands either focus on like rough and edgy or very soft, feminine, dainty. And I don't think there's a brand out there, at least in my opinion, that has nailed the polarity. A collaboration of personal styles and substance. What about your personalities do you think has allowed you to have the success that you've had so far? Probably Jody's determination and my willingness to not take no for an answer. Rates that help them secure more than 60 sales accounts in the U.S. and abroad in their first year and a half, including a contract with high-end department store Bergdorf Goodman in New York. I think our philosophy was to start small, focus on, you know, partnerships that would work, getting to know their customer and, you know, building a long-term relationship. If these two 20-somethings sound like they've been in business for years, it might be because they listen closely to those who have. The thing is, you're not going to know everything. You have a mentor. Or, or, or find people around you that know things that you don't know how to do, that have been there, done that. But weathering the biggest economic downturn in recent history might have less to do with expert advice and more with something simple, their bare-bones approach. It's very easy for us to be nimble and accommodating. If something's not working, switch it really quickly. We can whip up something on the spot. After breaking even their first year and projecting a profit in 2009, nimble and quick seems to be working. What is the hardest lesson that you both have learned so far? Just making sure that you're taking enough time for yourself is really important. You live, eat, and breathe your business, but at the end of the day, if you're not enjoying it, then you shouldn't be doing it. And Jody and Danielle Snyder started their company in early 2008 with about $50,000 in savings and family loans, and they're on track to make a profit by the end of the year, as you heard.